Globalization in Asia has a secret history. The great sweatshops and banks and luxury hotels in Indonesia were built on the mass murder of as many as one million people, an episode the West would prefer to forget. But many people here have not forgotten. In recent years, people all over the country have begun searching for the remains of loved ones murdered when General Suharto seized power in the mid-1960s, aided by the United States and Britain. Until recently, the truth of this episode has remained so secret that this is the only known photograph of the atrocities. One day in early October 1965, a gang of thugs entered this school in Jakarta and beat to death the headmaster. He was suspected of being a communist. His murder was typical of the slaughter of more than a million people, teachers, students, civil servants, peasant farmers. Described by the CIA as one of the worst mass murders of the 20th century, the origins of this terrible episode have been covered in mystery. Certainly it brought to power General Suharto. But what is now emerging is the extent to which he was secretly backed by the United States and Britain and by Western business leaders. Within a year of the bloodbath, Indonesia's economy was effectively redesigned in America, giving the West access to vast mineral wealth, markets and cheap labor, what President Nixon called the greatest prize in Asia. To Western business, the great value of General Suharto was that he succeeded in getting rid of the founder of modern Indonesia, Ahmed Sukarno, a nationalist who believed in economic independence for his people. He kept the great Western corporations out of Indonesia and threw out their agents, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. It was only when one of his generals, Suharto, seized power that the door was open to Asia's greatest prize. When the Suharto uh, regime came in after, after the pooch, they were able to make a lot of the fact that they were calling the IMF and the World Bank back in. Uh, they were going to rescue them, you see, and, and British propaganda in particular made a lot of this. You know, the IMF was, was decent, and it was going to bring order and, and everything was going to be lovely in the Indonesian garden. And, and as I say, um, a British diplomat uh, still alive has, has said to me that was very much a part of the deal. Britain and the United States secretly conspired to back General Suharto. The American ambassador assured him that the US government is generally sympathetic with and admiring of what the army is doing. Thousands were rounded up. What was not known at the time 